at t equals zero, I project it here. Let, let it be. Uh, we'll discuss all the cases elastic, inelastic, and if the ground is rough, the first case, let e equal to one. What will happen to it? So as I projected, so what happened to this particular ball is going to describe a parabolic path. Is going to describe a parabolic path. <clears throat> just just for to, to make problem a little bit systematic I've just taken the two reference lines so it will come and collide now again it will collide with the ground so here again collision occurs uh, tell me what will happen here elastic collision so then with what velocity it was projected just resolve the velocities u y and u x so what is what is u x u x equal to u cos theta u y is equal to u sin theta half to impact we know that u y should not change Now the, you check it now, so the ball will be after second impact, after third impact, and this is the trajectory. Now, uh, due to collision, Y component, it will approach the ground with a speed UI, then it will rebound with the same speed because of elastic collision. And as there is no friction, so horizontal component remains same. So what will happen to this angle theta? It will not change. With what speed it was projected, same speed now it's going to get projected from point two. And again, it's going to ascend a maximum height, the same maximum height. So what was maximum height HM, the same maximum height. A T equals are projected after what time it will be available? After T. Then again, after what time it will be available? After some time, 2T. This will be 3T. Uh, what should happen to the range will not, will remain same the range and the maximum might ascend it it will also remain same how long this will go on as long as the surface is present as long as the surface is present The above one is there's no wall. I'm, I'm just taking a reference line that one. So the maximum I ascended will be same. The range will be same. The time of flight will be same. The angle of incident, the angle of rebound, everything will be same. And this will continue. So this is for elastic collision. Now let me bring inelastic collision. E between zero and one, the same condition. I'll, I'll scroll down. So the first and the second case, E between zero and one. So first, uh, as I project it, it'll go and ascend like this. Here. Now it's an inelastic collision. No, no. Let's see what what actually happens in this case. At t equals zero, I project it. Then it will take time of flight t. So let the horizontal component. So this is u. This is theta, so resolving ux and ui. It will approach with a speed ui and here ux. 
after collision what will happen to ball it will rebound with a speed e u i no and as this is smooth so what should happen to this it will remain constant along x axis there won't be change in momentum so definitely e is less than e is between 0 and 1 so what do you expect the vertical component will decrease no so maximum height ascended so earlier this was range h1 t equals 0 this is a time of flight t so there is a range r1 so now the trajectory will be like this so this what finally happens so th this is the h2 this is h3 and so on like this you can continue so th this is r2 range this is r3 r4 r5 and so on what about the time there's a time of flight t t1 this is t2 t3 t4 let's try to generalize everything here now uh, what is h1 equal to u y square by 2g uh, describe the motion along along x along y huh? it will be much easier to write equation let's write all the equations no uh, first what is a h1 equal to u y square by 2g what about time of flight 2 u y by g and what is the range u x into time of flight <laughs> so this should be equal to how much 2 u x u y by g K keep it data ready like this Uh, we know uh, what is uh, rebound speed e u y so what do you expect h to know so for first we'll calculate time of flight time of flight should be 2 e u y by g so how much this should become e times of t1 able to understand this one what is the vertical component of the velocity of the impact will become e u y no so will become e t1 then what is the maximum height ascended should be equal to e u y all square by 2g so this should be e square h1 then what will be the range r2 is equal to in place of u y so this will be 2 or u x into t2 and t2 is e t1 u x into t1 so this should be equal to e into r1 so range will and e will be less than 1 so what do you expect all these quantities will decrease no next for third so time of ah uh, so shouldn't t1 be u y by g no my time of flight total time of flight 2 u y by okay sir okay sir hmm? sorry sir okay ma okay yeah, this one our uh, t3 should be equal to uh, they should be uh, it will it will approach again it will approach with a speed e u y it will rebound e square u y e square u y it will rebound e cube u y so t3 should be equal to 2 into e square u y by g so e square t1 H three should be equal to e square u y all square by two g. H three, I'm 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 getting H three like this. And what about the range R three? R three should be equal to u x into t three. So this should be e square R one. look at the terms some e to power of 4 h3 e to power of 
these are things. So like this, what will happen to the height ascended will decrease, range will decrease, time of flight all are going to decrease here. And finally, what will happen? Finally, the ball will have only x component of velocity. No. Finally, what when the ball will move horizontally because after n collisions, y component will keep on decrease, and it after long time, after long time, the ball will be just moving horizontally because ux nobody is there to decrease. No. Look at the i test and it keeps on decreasing. So UI vertical component will keep on decrease, horizontal component just remains same. So no, no change in horizontal component. Because there's no friction. So there's a final. Sir, huh? in the first case in elastic collision, you said that it will continue to move till the surface is, uh, till the surface is there, no, sir. Hmm. Is it possible in real life, sir? Try to see, uh, is it possible to have infinite surface? Uh, just be okay. realistic. No, I'm just talking theoretically here. Okay, ma. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Just it's a, see, on paper, I'm, I'm talking here. <laughs> Practically, what happened? Can you get a ground off like this? Nobody will disturb you. Can you get a straight road? Not possible, no? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So these are the some mathematical ways of asking few things here. The with every impact, there'll be loss in kinetic energy. And finally, what kinetic energy of the ball will remain constant? Some you say u x m u x square. So how much of energy lost after the n impacts? M u y square by two. Vertical component will get eliminated finally. Uh, this is the surface we took smooth. If surface is rough, the same situation. Ux also is going to change. No? If surface is rough, even horizontal component will change. And finally, what will happen? The ball will finally come to rest. Uh, can it happen like uh, elastic collision and surface equal to one? L let me come back to. Let me introduce. That. This will be very useful for you. And horizontal surface is rough. What conditions will arise here? I'm projecting with a speed u. So first it will And finally, it will be moving vertically up and down here. I'll, I'll, I think I'll, I'll show it. So this is almost vertical. And, and it will. So th this is what? When this is rough and e equal to 1. What I'm putting condition, so this is the theta. This is u, ui, ux. At e equal to one, so for a, at every collision, what will happen to vertical component? Vertical component is not going to change. No? With what speed the ball was approaching, with the same speed it will rebound. So finally, it will having a speed ui and ui horizontal component as will keep on decrease so it will be u1x u2x u3x u4x A any reason for that because due to friction so when the ball is here in what action the friction will act here the friction will be like this so this you let me just show only friction here like this So every time the friction acting what pen will decrease the 
momentum of the ball along x axis and because of that what happened the x component will keep on decrease so what is the equation no u 4x less than u 3x less than u 2x less than u 1x less than u x y component of velocity remains same so what is the maximum might ascend it will remain same time of flight should decrease or remain same time of flight is same t equal to t 2t 3t because time of flight depends on vertical component finally what happened the ball will be just rebounding vertically up and down uh, all these are hypothetical practically not possible because e equal to 1 practically not possible exactly adjusting that one just on paper i am just giving information so finally what happened the ball will be just vertically oscillating to and fro motion will be describing this one so any any especially such questions no will be asked for you in matching they'll give e between 0 and 1 surface rough or smooth so rather than every time drawing diagram no you, you must have a basic idea so describe the motion along x along y and continue the problem so therefore whenever two bodies collide what all we should do we should search for what all is it colliding